When you think of your favorite movies, you likely think about the actors in it or perhaps the special effects or the directing. Rarely do the movie's props come to mind. And yet, movie props are an essential component to filmmaking that often gets overlooked. At the same time, they're never undervalued by the people making the movie, who know that the art department is as big a part of the production process as any other. In this video, we're taking a look at the top 10 props that were sold for a ton of money. Join Faxverse as we present the most expensive movie props ever sold. Aragorn's Sword, The Lord of the Rings Trilogy Fans of the Lord of the Rings movies are very familiar with this first prop, as it served a vital role for the heroes taking on the evil Lord Sauron. Aragorn's sword, whose name is Anduril, was wielded by this epic warrior as he took on the movie's dark forces. It was not only a symbol of Aragorn's might and his skills in battle, but also of his royal roots and the fact that he was the true king of Gondor. And Aragorn used Anduril to his mightiest capabilities, using it to conquer the Dark Lord in the final film of the trilogy, The Return of the King. So obviously, Obviously, the sword meant a lot to Aragorn, but perhaps it meant even more, at least financially, to fans of the series. That's because it sold at auction for $437,000. The lucky buyer not only got an epic piece of memorabilia, but also an intricately designed and crafted weapon. It has a gorgeous and detailed hilt and looks about as real as it gets. Hopefully, the new owner never has to use it to fight any orcs. Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, Star Wars. Perhaps the only thing more powerful that a movie hero can swing than a great sword is a lightsaber. And any fan of the Star Wars movies will be familiar with the most famous lightsaber of them all, the one used by Luke Skywalker. In the first movie released, A New Hope, Luke is seen learning the ways of the Jedi and figuring out how to use the weapon. It's a device only used by Jedi, which means he ultimately had to use his to battle against foes like Darth Vader. Luke inherited his from his father, Anakin, who, 45-year-old spoiler alert, turned out to be not such a great guy. The prop makers took special care to make sure that the lightsaber Luke used in the movie was as realistic looking as possible, and it turned out to be a masterpiece of prop work. It was purchased at auction for $450,000, slightly more than Aragorn's sword, hopefully by the same person, and they're having nightly imaginary fights with the two weapons. Sam's Piano, Casablanca. Pianos aren't usually a cheap item to begin with. Sure, you can sometimes pick one up on eBay for cheap, but generally well-made pianos will set you back at least a couple thousand bucks. But if it's a super famous piano, then expect to pay exponentially more than that. In the movie Casablanca, the famous piano scene played by the character Sam at one of the main filming locations, Rick's Cafe, has become a legendary movie prop. It served as a symbol of the movie, which has also gone down as one of the top films of all time. As such, when the piano was put up for auction in 2014, it went for a mind-blowing $3.4 million. Hopefully, whoever owns it now knows how to play as time goes by. Audrey Hepburn's Ascot Dress, My Fair Lady Audrey Hepburn still represents the best of old Hollywood, and her iconic style and grace perhaps show off the glamour of the golden age more than anyone else. So it's no surprise that a particular outfit worn by the legendary actress would be a sought-after piece of movie memorabilia. In the movie My Fair Lady, Hepburn wore an Edith Head-designed black-and-white dress that has managed to become one of the most memorable and iconic costumes in movie history. It's an ascot dress that has full skirts and a high collar, and not only it epitomized Hepburn's glamour, but also Head's work as one of the all-time great designers. As such, the dress fetched $3.7 million at auction in 2011. The Maltese Falcon there are few noir films more famous than The Maltese Falcon, a 1941 flick starring Humphrey Bogart and Mary Astor. In it, Detective Sam Spade looks into the disappearance of a statue called The Maltese Falcon. In the movie, it's said to be not only made of solid gold, but also adorned with precious stones. It set the standard for what are known as MacGuffins, aka an object whose purpose is specifically, and often only, is to get the plot of the movie going. And given that it was the literal title of the movie as well, The Maltese Falcon, statue was always likely to be a valuable item to collectors of movie memorabilia. So much so, it sold for $4.1 million at auction in 2013. Marilyn Monroe's Subway Dress if you've only seen one image of legendary bombshell Marilyn Monroe, then most likely it's one of her standing on top of a subway grate, which is blowing air up into her white dress as she tries to keep it from fully blowing above her head. It's a classic photo that has kept the image of Monroe as a gorgeous and appealing movie star intact after all these years. And copies of that photo can be found all around the globe, perhaps as much today as in the several decades since the photo was taken. The scene it was taken from was in the 1965 movie, The 
the seven-year itch. And while the photo of Monroe atop the subway grate is a famous item, the dress she wore in it has become the more valuable memento. It's an all-white, lightweight cotton dress with a plunging neckline that was designed by William Travilla. And given both the iconic nature of the movie it was in, the photo that resulted, and the star who wore it, it's no surprise that it fetched quite a price at auction. In 2011, one lucky buyer walked away with the dress for a cool $4.6 million. James Bond's Aston Martin DB5 James Bond movies are perhaps as well known for their props as any movie franchise. The suave Mr. Bond is always flanked by a variety of spy gadgets and gizmos that set him apart from the rest of the world and help him defeat various evildoers. And in every movie, there's a focus on the incredible sports cars that Bond gets to cruise around in. They not only handle well at crazy fast speeds, but they also come equipped with all the missiles, evasion tools, and other spy necessities that Bond could ever want. Plus, with each successive movie, the fun tools on the car would get enhanced, so each car became its own collector's item. Unsurprisingly, the cars from the early Bond movies are the ones that are most valuable, and the Aston Martin DB5 that Sean Connery drove in both Goldfinger and Thunderball in the mid-1960s was THE car when it came to valuable Bond items. It had a bulletproof shield on it, allowing Bond to survive direct fire as well as built-in machine guns, not to mention an ejector seat in case things got a little too hairy. And to be fair, the car looks sleek and elegant even before for any spy-based enhancements. This combo is likely why it sold at auction in 2010 for a staggering $4.6 million. No word yet on whether Aston Martin will be coming out with an all-electric version in the near future. Robbie the Robot – Various Movies the prop that has fetched the highest price in movie history is perhaps not one that many modern fans would know of. It's called Robbie the Robot, and it was featured in multiple science fiction films of the 1950s, such as The Invisible Boy and Forbidden Planet. It was created by Robert Kinoshita and was miles ahead of other robotic props used at the time. So audiences were blown away by the robotic wonder that was Robbie. And while those two sci-fi films were what Robbie was most known for, it was used again in a variety of shows and films. Films. So many fans got to know Robbie from a number of appearances on a number of productions. Perhaps that added to the robot's innate value. But the incredible monetary worth of Robbie the Robot is most likely due to the fact that it was so ahead of the curve, and it was a leap not only for movie props but of consumer robotics. As a result, some assumingly very wealthy buyer got to keep him after they shelled out a whopping $5,375,000 in 2013. It set the record for the most money ever spent on a movie prop. It makes you wonder what other memorabilia that person has laying around the house. Now it's time to hear from you. What movie prop do you think should be the most valuable? Would you ever spend a bunch of money on a movie prop? Let us know in the comments section below.